A South Florida dog owner says his pet was microchipped, but that didn't save it from being euthanized by Miami-Dade Animal Services. My name is Heather Walker has the story in tonight. Seven investigates. Like many people, for Lazaro Gonzalez, dogs are more than just pets, they're family. Dogs were always something that when you get in trouble, you, you're doing something that you're not supposed to, they're with you. He says to keep his dog safe, he makes sure to microchip them. But that didn't help his dog, King Odin. I just want answers. I want answers. In February 2023, Lazaro says a friend was watching King Odin while he cared for his father, who had cancer. Unfortunately, while Lazaro was gone, the dog went missing from the yard. Lazaro reported it to the Miami-Dade police, but didn't have much time to search for his pet because he was busy with his dad. We have to focus on this, which is a terminal ill you know, disease right now. Police told him if King Odin ended up at an animal shelter, he would be scanned for a microchip. I was told that they would reach out to the Humane Society or Animal Control to try to locate if the dog would have been brung in never got an answer. A year went by with no answers until Lazaro saw a picture of King Odin on our website, WSVN.com. Seven News featured a photographer who takes pictures of shelter animals to help get them adopted. That's my dog, <laughs> like that's him. Lazaro couldn't believe what he was seeing. I know the tilted ear, the freckles in the mouth. That's my dog. He immediately called Miami-Dade Animal Services. As I'm calling, everyone's asking me for chip number, my information, who's on the paperwork, to provide any details they needed that. As I provided everything, I was denied information over the phone. Lacero was told he would have to come here to the shelter in Doral for more information. When he said he couldn't, a volunteer privately told him the bad news. King Odin was adopted out eight months after he went missing. And in October of that year, he was brought back and humanely euthanized. It's devastating. To me, he was my best friend. You know, I was a time of need, and he was there. Miami-Dade Animal Services couldn't reach Lazaro on his cell phone because he got a new phone with a different number and forgot to update the microchip information. Lazaro's friend was listed as an emergency contact with both an accurate email and phone number but he was never contacted. I need to know why there was no email, why was there no call. The shelter tells 7 News while Lazaro did file a police report, his dog was not registered with the county. The situation highlights the importance of microchipping, registering and maintaining your updated contact details with a chip provider, as well as registering your pet with the county. Lazaro is devastated he wasn't there for King Odin but he's doing what he can to keep his remaining dog safe. Her name is Batty. She is actually registered with Miami-Dade Animal Control, and um, they are aware of Batty. And Lazaro made sure his contact information has been updated on her microchip. Heather Walker, 7 News.